if you own an Android phone and you haven't installed the Google camera app called Gcam, come on, it is the best in the world. Sweet pictures, advanced setting that once you just get it, you're going to enjoy your camera and take it to the next level. So we've done loads and loads and loads of video on Google camera, all the advanced setting, how to tweak it. It's so much. But today, we want to look at something because of differences in our preferences and different devices. You're going to learn how to get the best configuration file, that XML file, and tweak it to get you the best picture for your own choice that will be good for every situation if you're ready let's go welcome back to smart depot if you're new here or you like our video please click on that subscribe button because we've done loads and loads of video on gcam advanced setting how to install it how to do the configuration files but when it comes to configuration files it's also your preference and it is different from device to device. So that's the reason why I'm going to take you through all the steps. Now, this setting took us about three or four days to get the best setting out of it. So if you're ready, let's just get started. Starting from the day one, we're going to tweak the HDR for indoor and outdoor at the same time. So now it's simple. You just open up your phone. Remember, the secret here is for you to find the setting that best suits you. You know, so this is my picture uh, without HDR and I'm going to try go to HDR. I've actually tweaked the HDR, you know, to my own setting, HDR advance. You see now there's a little bit more saturation and also there is still more uh, clarity. This is the normal picture. This is the HDR enhanced picture. So um, I'm not going to spend time here to show you all the setting, how to do that. You can click on the video in the cards to watch advanced setting for Gcam. I've done part one, part two, part three. I'm not going to do that, but here I'm going to go into details of how to set up configuration. Now, this is the HDR enhanced without tweak. So after tweaking, you see the way it is now, normal camera is like this, then the HDR enhanced when I've tweaked it, and then the HDR enhanced without any tweak. So um, you just check out the video for that. So I'm going to go into setting and I'm going to just, you know, rush in, go through some setting, tweak some things and also check out my settings. For, for each step, you have to make sure that your setting is good. So this is the way I tweaked the HDR. I'm just going to show you a little bit of it here. Then after that, you go outdoor because to get the best setting, you're going to consider both indoors and outdoors. So this is a setting you want to use for every situation. So this is the HDR enhanced outdoors and i'll check it i'm also going to take without hdr outdoor and then i'm going to look at the two of them and see how it you know it goes i'm going to take different different pictures uh, different different scenarios uh, i should be able to judge at the end of it and let me see hdr no hdr hdr no hdr i'm going to look at it uh, okay this is uh, with hdr you know it's clear it's clean the color is good the saturation is good um this is uh, also with hdr on different scene so this is very very important that you check out every settings for day indoor outdoor whether it is good for you so we have tested this and say okay we're going to use hdr plus or hdr enhanced because the setting is good for us so after that now we're going to move in into the second day so here comes the day two a very cloudy day and we're going to do indoor and night sight, all right? So this is a very cloudy day. We're still going to set our HDR plus to see whether it will get better on this cloudy day. And so we will still consider the indoors, right? So now that's that now. So I think the picture is good for a cloudy day. And, you know, it's very, very dark, you know, but this picture is very, very good. You know, the lighting is good. So after we've looked at, we like that, we go into the night sight, you know? So for night sight, we're going to do night side tweaking also the night side tweaking is very very important so we're gonna take a picture of this early in the morning about you know six after six a.m in the morning so after taking these pictures right now we're gonna check out how it looks well okay so this looks good right for night side okay so but that's not all we can actually improve this so make sure that you do not you know change or 
you know tweak different settings because there are some settings that could conflict with other ones so right now we've come back and tweaked the night site a little bit and we're going to take another picture with the night site right now so you see now so there is quite some improvement uh, in the night site this is normal night site and this is the tweaked night site so i think we've got that and we're going to go to the the three uh, when we switched on and tweaked uh, astrophotography uh, even to get better night sites when it comes to astrophotography, this is the one with night sights. Uh, this is the picture without night sight. This is the one with night sight. You can see the, how much light and difference. So you can actually use night sight in in the daytime or in a dark area in the room. So um, it depends on your preference anyway. So when it comes to that same night sight that was tweaked, this is the best it could do. This is the night sight. Uh, that this is without night sight, which is very poor. So that's where astrophotography comes in because astrophotography can actually see in darkness. So I'm going to try the first astrophotography by default, which is about 30 seconds. Now that's not good. You see the difference now. Uh, but it's it's this is night sight, right? Then this is without night sight, night sight, and astrophotography. So you can see the difference. But when it comes to astrophotography, I cannot just hold the handheld. It's a little be blurry because it's handheld so i want to tweak it again and tweak it down to a place whereby i can hold let me try like four seconds now uh four seconds here will give you like 12 seconds because each second is three seconds in astrophotography in real camera shot so if i try the the four second setting in astrophotography tweaks it will give me like 12 seconds which the picture is still good it's very very good way better so this is the 10 seconds i think it's even better than the 10 seconds yeah because of my hands shaking so um so you can actually use uh four seconds if you can hold that long but for me i always like a point and shoot you know um setting so i'm going to still bring it down to like two seconds all right i'm bringing down to two seconds the auto exposure correction for astrophotography and then i'm going to go back i'm going to take my own picture so i like two seconds because two seconds is very very quick you understand so if i take it just like in in before you know it in 35 seconds you know you're taking the picture it's still the same like night sight but the beauty is that it gives good picture right you can see it now this is the one with um, two seconds astrophotography which is actually about uh, six seconds um the difference is not much this is the 10 seconds right um this is the the four seconds this is the two seconds so i like the two seconds but you can choose between two or four seconds depending on the way you can hold your hand so that's that so no matter the configuration file you have you might actually tweak a little bit more thing into it and then save it as your own best configuration file so this is that two seconds you see the way it takes it takes about like you know five six seconds to take a picture and the outcome is very very wonderful so with all that done right now i will now go and save it and that's the way i came to the best configuration file for this device Remy x2 so i'll put the link for the configuration file in the description in case you're using Remy x2 uh, if you want to learn more about gcam setting advanced setting how to tweak it we've done loads and loads and loads of video also there's a playlist for our gcam and all the settings and that will be it for now you can drop your question in the comment section like the video share subscribe i'll see you in the next one subscribe i'll see you